so I've seen this video of by Yvonne Williams of how to make a dragon eye so I'm going to give that a go today um, I've got this big glass nugget it's a special kind of glass so I'll put a link in my blog in case you want to give this a go to give you an idea of what it is Got some, um, got some toilet roll. <laughs> um, that's to wash off uh, any excess nail varnish we're going to be using. Um, I'm not sure if it's going to work because a lot of this nail varnish is quite glittery. I'm not sure if the actual glitter inside is going to help or make things worse. So I've chosen some colours I think will work well together. I'm going to try to go for red and gold dragon eye. Um, the idea being to use the darker colours around the edge and then slowly come in and uh, get lighter in the middle and obviously like a real dark black pupil in the centre I'm also going to be using this um, I don't think it matters what kind of thing you use you just got to have a sharp pointy end um, I'll also put this in a link on my blog if anybody wants to follow along now I'm hoping this is black otherwise this is just not going to work and the whole thing is going to be a waste of time I'm not even sure it's the right kind of nail varnish because it's got nail liquor written on there. So here goes the first one. I don't think this is quite black, but I'm going to give it a go anyway to see what happens. I'm just going to start off trying to get a, uh, a kind of pupil shape to it. I'm quite happy with that actually. Maybe it's not quite in the centre. Be a disaster. Um, oh. <laughs> I'm already going wrong. Let's, uh, move that in a bit there. What I might actually do is try rubbing some of that up with some paper. This could go really horribly wrong now. It's okay because this is a batch of ten, so um, she doesn't matter too much. Uh, I'm just gonna rub this all off. This is going to take longer than I thought, I think. It also would appear that it's, uh, okay, it's not quite black, but I'm still going to give it a go. Yeah, I'm going to start like that. So we've got this kind of, this kind of look going on. I'm going to kind of leave that to dry for a bit. I'm not sure how long it's going to take. <laughs> put some more on now. I'm going to pile it on. I'm going to put this on really thick. And then from here. So I'm going to grab this little pointed tool, you can't add a terrible angle. <laughs> Let's see if I can go around and make this a bit clearer. There we go. Okay, and I'm going to start trying to pull some out. Okay, this isn't working out. <laughs> that did not go how I thought it would go. I'm going to try putting a lot more on there. Okay, now I'm going to try putting this out. I'm going to try to make it go out further. And this isn't actually how I would expect it to go. I'm just going to clear the end of this off. I don't really want to ruin this tool because I use it for clay as well. So hopefully this won't destroy it. I'm going to pile some more on there. I look really thick. And I'm going to pull some more out towards the edges again. I 
a big streak in there, but I'm not too worried about that. And so from the other side it should look pretty similar. Getting that kind of effect. That is a big pupil. Um, I'm going to stick with it and see how this goes. Whoa. Okay. From here, I'm going to take as much varnish off the edge as I can. And I'm just going to go around. I'm just going to go around the edges and give it a bit of a darker outside. When the uh, inside pupil dries, I might scratch away a bit to make. Uh, let's try the other side. There we go. So, um, try to get rid of some of the size of the pupil. I'm not sure if that's a good idea. But I'm going to give that a go now. Should have dried a bit now. I'm gonna see if I can just scratch that away. It's becoming more and more clear that the uh, colour I've actually put on there is purple and not black. That looks awful. Really awful. <laughs> um, oh dear. Oh dear. Anyway, let's uh, let's stick with it. Stick with it. I'm gonna go a bit darker around the edges again because what is now actually purple. Mm. It's quite thick. And then I'm gonna start scratching these these out again. I'm gonna just put some more right in the middle so I don't go and scratch this off. But uh, I'm not, I'm not, I haven't got much hope for this now to be fair. Um, it's just a massive splat. Oh well, right. That's fairly dry now, so I'm gonna find this is the darkest red I've got. I'm going to go over the edge of this. And again, I'm going to take some of the excess off. And just go over the top of that purple that I put on, that I thought was black. There's a real shine to this. And it always makes you feel manly going to the boot sale and a uh, Buying a, a load of nail varnish. I got all these small bottles for two pound fifty with a, a few other colours that I decided not to use. Mm. So I just wanted to give this a go, and um, I was never sure if it was going to turn out anywhere near as good as I was hoping. I'm going to do a few more lines coming out. Yeah. I'm going to put this one away, and I've got a. It's still quite a cold red, but it's slightly brighter. I'm going to give this one a bit of a go now on top. Get rid of the excess. And again, just go. Bit further in, just around the edges. Okay, so from here I'm going to do the same thing again. I'm going to come in. I'm just 
them that towards the edge. I find it quite hard to actually keep this, keep the line straight and coming outwards. It's probably going to take a lot more practice if I want to get any good at this. Take some of the excess off. some more lines in. Right. It's kind of taking shape. Um, I think I need to sort this bit here out. I don't know if I can just completely scratch that off. I'm just really trying. Maybe if I scratch inwards, I can reduce the size of the eye. I'm just trying to make it thin enough so if I add enough colours you can uh, kind of lose the black a bit and I'm going to put this darker colour back on top just so it's got a nice solid look to it or a solid look to it, I don't know about a nice one there we go I prefer that but I I think if I did it again I'd definitely go smaller on the pupil ok so I'm thinking of doing a wider colour now I want to go um Well, actually, I found this guy as well, it might be okay. Um, I was going for more reds and uh, more reds and orange, but um, where the purple's come in, it's kind of blended and it's gone off where I thought it would be. So, I don't know if I'm going to put that on. I'm going to go for this one next. It's like it's a deep red. The outside should have dried now as well. Oh no, it did stuck. Tragedy. I've got no brush. There we go. Let's see if this works. Not gonna be easy. Right. Uh oh. Disaster! There you go. Okay. So I'm gonna spin this round again. I'm going to try scratching this out again. Leave it like that for a minute and hopefully it will dry a little bit. I'm going to scratch it through a bit further. You can kind of see it coming together now. 
Well, actually, I'm quite. Well, actually, uh, I don't think it's that bad anymore. Um, probably like a bit darker around the edges. Um, I might wait for it to dry around the edges and then do a darker colour. And now, uh, I really want to try something quite shiny. I'm going to go for this gold, and I'm going to put it in the middle and see what happens. Now this has got glitter in, so I'm a bit concerned that this won't work too well. But let's give it a go. Because it's only when we glitter in, I'm going to push it all the way to the edge, I think. See what happens. Right, I ran out of space on my iPhone storage, so I've actually switched to my uh, my SLR now, um, which may make it a bit more challenging to film, ironically, considering it costs a lot more. But um, I'm going to carry on with this, and uh, hopefully, you still get a gist of what I'm doing. Now, when I before I ran out of uh, <coughs> before I ran out of memory. I decided to put some gold on, and when I looked on the other side, it were uh, you couldn't really see it. So I'm going to cover a lot more of the eye for this one, and uh, see if it comes through nicely. How's that looking? I can't actually see it on there at all. How strange. I'm going to do another layer. I'm going to try putting it on really thick. So I don't really know what I'm doing. This is my first try at this. Let's see what I've got now. Okay, you can kind of see it. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to really scratch into this now. This might be a better angle for the camera. And just really try scratching in. I'm starting to cut through that a bit now. I'm going to go in a bit more from the centre as well. Uh, I'm not actually sure where the iris is now because I've covered it up. <laughs> Maybe that was a bad idea. I'm going to cover this back over with the gold. Still can't really see a lot of that gold. Um, not quite sure what to do, to be honest. The only thing I can think of doing really is scratching through it again. Some bigger scratches going through now, and I'll get it more frequently. Oh, my girlfriend's back. Oh, 
I'm concerned the eye doesn't look very defined, so I'm not sure what to do about pupil. Um, and I don't think I'm going to get much more gold in there now. So I'm just going to go around the edge. One last time, I'm trying to make it a bit darker. Wait for that to dry again, dry a bit, and I'm going to put a bit more on there, and then I might call it a day. Yes, sir. Uh, it's got some glitter in the middle of the pupil, that's not good. I've messed this right up, I'm going to go back over the top darker. It looks like I got rid of most of the glitter that was in the middle, but obviously this is not what you want to be doing. I'm just going to do that. Okay, so, I kind of got there. It's definitely discoloured, and it's not as dark as I'd like. Black is definitely what I should have done there. front of the glass that should come off quite easily later on. I'll polish that up. Worst comes to worst I'll use some white spirit. I'm going to put a thicker layer on the back just to block out any uh, light coming through. I really don't want any purple to be showing up. I'm just going to finish it off by uh, just covering the back in one colour. Okay, so here's it finished. Uh, as I said, it's not how I wanted it to turn out, but it's my first attempt, and I try and encourage other people to do things. So by showing you I can't do everything great, <laughs> hopefully that encourages you to give something a go, knowing you don't have to succeed every time. Um, if we look at this, uh, my biggest mistake was uh, not actually realising I didn't have black. Uh, we really needed a solid pupil as well, so I will give this another go. I'm going to use black, I'm going to make a smaller pupil, I'm going to make it solid, and uh, I'm going to leave a bit more space for the gold as well, because it really doesn't show up too well. So when I <laughs> when I lifted the eye up, it still hadn't dried, so it's, um, <laughs> it's made a right mess of it. So what I'm actually done, I'm going to use it from, to my advantage. Um, I've got some surgical spirit I've got. Um, put it on some tissue paper. And I'm going to... I'm going to clean the middle of the eye out. I've been and I've bought myself some black now. Into super drug, looking at the nail varnish, much to the astonishment of most of the women there. And um, 
I've got some Rimmel London, probably a bit, cost me three pounds, I can't believe how much women spend on this, but um, I want to get this project finished. And I also decided to flip over my mat so I can see the grid on the other side, and uh, this should allow me to more accurately put this in the middle. And this time I'm just going to draw a line using the grid. So hopefully this will turn out better than it did before. <laughs> okay. I'll leave that for a minute to dry. I think that's a bit better than the last one. <laughs> it couldn't be much worse than the last one. So, just leave that a minute to dry. I'm going to go over that again. And then I've got to leave that again. That's what it looks like from the other side. Okay, that looks better. Looks better. So I'm going to make it a bit thicker in the middle. Okay, that's definitely better than it was. I'm going to leave that to dry again. I'm just going to now I'm going to put some thicker sludges back on. Okay. And I'm just going to drop this out a little bit. Put some more. On top that's a bit too thick, so I'm going to be really careful when I pull this bit out. Okay, again, I think that's too much. Um, I'm going to leave it like this, I don't want to keep messing around with it. If I turn it upside down. A bit too thick. I'm going to let it dry a bit, and then I'm going to scratch out some extra bits so it's not so thick. Right, I'm back now. I've left it for a little bit. I'm just going to try scratching out some of the thicker bits. Okay, I'm happy with that. All right. I'm going to try a bit of this gold again. I'm going to be careful not to touch the eye because I don't want it to smudge. I'm really going to have to wait for it to dry a bit. Get in there. I'm really just going to completely wait for that people to dry now. So I'm doing uh, shorter lines in the middle, and I'm also doing some long lines straight to th straight to the outside. And that's going to make sure that I don't lose all the gold, but still uh, keep it blended in well with the other colours. Okay, and I'm going to finish this off just by putting one colour really thick over the top. I'm not actually 100% sure on this colour, but uh, I'll see how it works. So I think that's what it's going to look like. Now I'm going to leave this to dry for a lot longer this time, uh, maybe a day or two. And uh, once it's completely dry, um, I might put something on the back like epoxy resin mm. just to seal it all in and to make sure it doesn't get scratched if I want to do anything else with it. This is the final result. Um, I'm fairly pleased with it. 
I'm not too fond of the pupil. Uh, next time I'll just do a solid pupil and instead of using the white I think I'd use a slightly darker or more colourful colour.